Hi everybody, welcome to my video. Um, what I'm going to show you is how to uh, check the basic fluid levels on a little Citroen C1. Um, this is a 2008 Citroen C1, it's the little 950cc or whatever it is, the little three cylinder engine. It's probably the same for the Peugeot version of this vehicle and also the Toyota version because I believe they all share the same platform and engines. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to check the oil, we're going to check the water level, and we're going to check the windscreen washer fluid level and top that up. Okay, so the first thing is we need to get access underneath the bonnet. Everything we need to be looking at is located under the bonnet on this car. So first thing, we need to come around the passenger side. <coughs> uh, and down here in the passenger side footwell is the uh, bonnet release catch. So just here, where my left foot would be, up here we can see there's a little lever okay so what you will do is you'll pull this lever towards you and you might just hear the bonnet release I don't know if you heard that just pull it gently towards you and that should be the bonnet release and just make sure it goes back into that position okay so first job release the bonnet catch which we've done Second thing now, we need to get access to the bonnet. Now once the bonnet has been released, it sits on a safety catch. And we can see the bonnet just sort of moving gently like this. So what we need to do, we need to put our hand under around about here. And we're just going to lift our fingers up like this around here. Stick them in a couple of inches and around this sort of position. So about halfway up and just have a fiddle. There you go, I can feel the latch release it and lift the bonnet okay once the bonnet's up we need to uh, hold it up so this is the um, bonnet uh, hold open rod so just pull it out the little plastic clip swing it around and it goes just in this little hole here just on the side of the wing there okay obviously uh, if it's windy you need to be a bit careful that this doesn't jump up and pop out and bang you on the head but that's what it is so um, there's the bonnet catch itself uh, and this is what we were releasing this is the bit you pull with the cable and then this is the uh, the safety hook you can see that so I've stuck my fingers underneath here and I've just lifted this just to release that safety catch okay so now we have good access the three things that we're going to be checking this is the, the the water down here so this is the engine cooling water the second thing we're going to look at is the windscreen washer fluid and how to top that up and the third thing is the engine oil this is the engine oil fill this is where we're going to check the engine oil that is called the dipstick okay so first thing is let's have a look at the engine water um, this plastic bottle here is called the water reservoir so this is the expansion tank um, and this is where we fill the radiator so normally hopefully we won't touch this and you can see it says caution on the top do not take this cap off at all really unless you've spoken to someone who knows what they're doing if you're a young girl or a young lad and you're not sure do not touch this cap especially if the car is hot or you've been running the engine if these pipes are warm and the engine's warm generally and you've been out running the car this can stay pressurized for several many hours afterwards and if you take this cap off it will spurt up high pressure hot water and will probably scold you so do not remove that until you've spoken to anybody this is not where we're going to fill the water up this is not well it, it would be if it had no water in the vehicle but we're not going to touch a little more what i'm looking at here is just general servicing so this is the expansion tank and i'm just going to have a look down the back and we can just see there is a line there can you see it halfway up the bottle here and we can just see the black and the white that's the level of the water so if i sort of just shake this bottle you can see the water level inside and that line that you can see is the okay line so if the water is up to that okay line then we're fine we're just a smidge over there but that's absolutely no problem if when i shake it like this there is no water in it <coughs> i just need to take the cap off so this cap is fine to take off so it's just a just a pop cap uh, be careful you don't drop this one because this is uh, it's supposed to have a little catch on the end here but it's broken off on this one uh, so just pour normal tap water in here ideally we'd put an antifreeze mixture in there but that's a conversation for another day if it's not at the right level 
uh, as looking down on the side and then just put tap water in here until it gets to that level on the side so that's the first thing checking the water the water is what keeps the engine cool um, and you know generally if you're running low on water then the car will smell hot you'll see your little temperature indicator rising inside the car and another possible um, symptom is that the cooling fan inside the heater is blowing cold or lukewarm you can't get hot water you know like hot blowing hot air okay so that's the water uh, second thing easy one windscreen washers so that's the windscreen washers okay so we're just going to lift the cap off and we're just going to put tap water in there go and fill a kettle or a bottle of water and put it in there it'll probably take around about one or two kettles full it's only going to be small on this car so it's probably only going to be about a kettle full you can stick you know like um, blue windscreen wash that you get from halfords or, or likewise some people like to to squirt a, a bit of a squirt of fairy liquid in there if they haven't got anything else but all else failing just put water in here and that's fine that's your windscreen washers. The last one, which is probably uh, the little bit trickiest one, well it's not tricky, is the engine oil. Uh, so the first thing is before you check the engine oil, you need to make sure that the vehicle is parked on a, uh, a straight and level as best as you can. Um, that's the first thing. Secondly, make sure again that the engine's not been uh, just running uh, and it's you know been uh, shut down for an hour or two and let, had, let the oil sort of settle and had a chance to settle. Okay, so this is where we would top the oil up if we wanted to put any oil in. Okay, so you just unscrew that cap, just a screw cap. And if we were going to get a, a tin of oil from the, the petrol station or from Halfords or somewhere, that is where we would pour the oil in. Okay, how do I know if I've got enough oil in the car? Um, so the first thing is, is the, the car will get very hot. The oil lubricates the engine, the water keeps it cool. So you will smell the car it generally smells you can smell the engine it smells like a hot engine um, the other thing is obviously is the red oil light that you see inside on the dashboard if that red oil light a, a little red symbol of an oil can if you can see that uh, then obviously you need to put some oil in very very quickly um, or if the engine is making a rattling noise or a, a strange noise like you've never heard it before uh, then maybe check the oil level as well again you should really be checking this water and this oil level um, at least every sort of few weeks depending on your mileage you know up to once a week if you're doing lots of miles okay so how am I going to check the engine oil level well this is called the dipstick here um, this is like a little ring here and there's a tube that runs all the way around the back of the engine into the engine and this tube has got a long thin piece of metal on it so I need a cloth here like a piece of tissue paper or an old t-shirt or something I can pull it all the way out and here we can see on the end are two dimples okay so I'm just gonna put that there uh, and what we can see is these dimple marks this is the high level this is the low level this metal piece here goes into the engine and the oil level you know shows up on here so first of all what we need to do is we need to pull the dipstick out uh, and then we need to wipe any residue off so first because this has been in the engine whilst it's been running so what I would do is I'd just get the cloth and I would just uh, wipe the residue off okay two seconds there we go so it's nice and clean <clears throat> secondly I'm going to stick it back inside the tube the dipstick tube where I've got it push it all the way back in nice and gentle it's a little bit stiff don't worry that's normal all the way in now that end bit is sticking in the oil and when I pull it out hopefully it should be between the two little dimples somewhere in between now I know this is a little bit low this car but it's a good example to show you there now can you see where the oil level is if I was to show you that let's just you can see there's plenty of oil on the end of it and where is it up to on the dimples there's a bit of staining but I can see that that is really right on the minimum would you agree there's not much oil in this car so I know that anyway because I've parked the car on a little bit of a unlevel just to show you in this example so what we would need to do if that was the case 
we'd need to take this cap off and put some oil in. Now, from I've done that right. From uh, minimum oil to maximum oil on this car, if you're not sure, imagine a cup of tea. Um, and uh, if I said to you, uh, make a cup of tea, uh, the same amount of fluid and the same amount of oil, which is probably about I don't know, a quarter of a liter, a third of a liter. Uh, we need to stick in there. So what we would do is we would go to Halfords or we would go to the car garage or whatever and we would buy some oil like this from the car garage. Take you back to the car and now we're going to top it up. And the best way common mistake is not to pour like that it's to pour sideways on that gives you a much more controlled pour so I'm just going to pour some oil in here very carefully so I'm gonna bit of experience how much that is probably about a teacup full lid back on my oil <laughs> the oil cap back on it should be nice and free first of all give it a, nip it up tighten it that's it give the oil a few seconds to drain down through the engine into the bottom what we call the sump uh, and then we should be good to go so now hopefully let's have a look at this see what sort of level this is difficult trying to do this one Andy okay and where are we on the dipstick do you reckon well it's hard at the moment but uh, I think, think we're we're at least over somewhere we're, give it a wipe and try and do it sometimes you have to do this um, two or three times you know wipe it and dip it and wipe it and dip it because certain cars the dipsticks are, are better to read and easier to read than other cars this one's not too bad there you go and we can see that is virtually now bang on halfway up the dipstick so that's the oil level checked. You really need to be checking the oil, like I said, probably once a month, depending on how many miles you're doing. If you're doing a lot of miles and using it for commuting every day, you know, doing sort of 30, 40, 50 miles a day, you should be checking that weekly. Okay, so, once you can wash the fluid, dipstick, which we're going to check, make sure it's between the two dimples somewhere. If it's not, we're gonna to top it up with some oil. Uh, make sure it's the right oil. Halfords will be able to advise you or your local car garage. Um, if we need to check the car water, we're going to top it up from here, not from here. If you need to top lots of water up and using this, then speak to someone who knows what they're doing. Last thing is just to literally uh, shut the bonnet. So clear any debris or rubbish out or anything obvious. So all we need to do is just gently lift the bonnet, take the weight of the bonnet up, uh, release the release the catch, swing it round, put it in the clip, and then lower the bonnet gently, and then just gently, and that's the first latch, it's on the safety, and then That's nice and that's nice and stuck. Okay, that's how you check the water, oil, and the windscreen washers. Lovely. Hope this helps. Cheers.